Hello and welcome to the State of Affairs, this time for July. A little bit more timely than the one for last month. For a second, while I was composing the notes for this video, I was wondering if maybe I was the only one who felt like I just did one of these videos. And well, the reason for that is because I basically just did a couple of weeks ago. My last State of Affairs video was very very late this time not so much recording it on the very first of the month before family reunion stuff happens this weekend and over the holiday so that is exciting stuff i don't really have much to ramble about this time around besides the fact that june wasn't a horribly productive month for me uh creatively speaking today july 1st is already turning things around. I've been very productive today, so here's hoping that next State of Affairs I can give you a little bit of a better update in some of these regards, but, you know, June wasn't necessarily the worst either. Let's start just as we always do with last month's videos. Uh, I released 14 videos on the main channel last month in June, got 641 views between those videos with uh, a lot of the book binge episodes being ones that I would highlight. But the ones that I will mention for today were my reviews on Anna Karenina and uh, my first manga review on Goodbye Airy, and then also my review on Cormac McCarthy's Outer Dark. I would also shout out my top five westerns I want to read video because that got a little bit more traction than I was expecting for that video to get, especially since it started off with nothing. And then got several views and got quite a bit of comments it might have been my most commented video of the month so that was cool uh and then i also did another video discussing the infinite tbr and how to manage it which was a little bit more of an experimental video but that one uh, got decent traction as well so thank you to everybody who checked any of those videos out on the second channel, I only released four videos, again, continuing that remnant from the Ashes Let's Play. Got seven views between those videos, with the main highlight being that I finally got around to the DLC. So the first DLC episode came out, the other three episodes are coming this month in July, and then August will be switching gears a little bit. I'm not going to be posting the Remnant 2 Let's Play starting in August like I originally thought I was going to. Instead, we're going to be starting a different one. More on that next month or if you watch the bi-weekly fortnight on the isle update series then you'll get a little bit more information on that pretty soon as well i technically have already talked about it wink wink nudge nudge but last month's writing is where we see a little bit of an uptick on my uh, productivity scale where obviously of course the writing is concerned on the reign of ash i had my second best month all year so far having added about 2,000 words to the reign of ash sequence that feels pretty good. I'm pretty close to done with part four of Halfway Hollow, the third book in the Silent Rain trilogy. And in fact, at the time that I'm recording this video, I have finished part four. The, you know, rest of part four happened in July. So technically that's not part of the June wrap up, but I got close enough that I could finish it in one day, which of course, like I said, feels pretty good. I think what I was thinking about before, uh, when I was talking months back and being like, oh, I'm probably going to have to rewrite parts four and five because they're pretty bad. Turns out that was a little bit inaccurate. I didn't need to rewrite parts four and five or especially part four, most especially that was a redundant sentence, but we're just going to roll with it. Uh, I didn't need to rewrite it entirely. I just needed to make it better i needed to incorporate a couple of the elements that i knew i didn't incorporate as fully as i needed to and having done so with the revision planning ahead for it i'm actually pretty happy with the way the climax goes whereas before i was not happy at all with the way the climax goes and all it took was adding in a couple extra elements and changing a tiny bit of the timing uh, i won't even have to I, I don't have to reorder um the plot lines for parts four and five to actually make it better like i was thinking in the last fortnight on the owl video so that's pretty exciting i may reorganize a little bit of, of the pov allocation over the first few parts of the book just to make it not as whiplashy because i have realized it is a little bit too whiplashy but that's a decision i'll come to once i finish part five which is a pretty short part only a few scenes because it's basically the resolution of the book and the whole trilogy all together so that is basically what's going on with the reign of ash as for blogs i also was pretty productive i actually got something written it was only a single blog granted but it was 4700 words written for a 21 pilots discography ranking which was a video that uh, came basically out of nowhere i was hoping to have the video out by now a little bit earlier maybe within the last week or two didn't quite end up happening that way 
which of course is okay. I'm not too concerned about it. It should be out within a couple weeks, hopefully. Don't quote me on that, but I'm going to try my best to get that out within the last couple weeks or the next couple weeks, you know, the first fortnight of July, essentially. And then maybe I'll even get that periphery discography ranking that I wrote over a year ago and actually get a video for that up on the second channel this month as well. If I'm able to do that, that'll be pretty great. It means I'll have something extra up on the second channel for the first time in a good long while. But for my book reviews on Goodreads, in case you don't know, I uh, have transitioned over the course of 2024 to doing largely in-depth uh, reviews. Not all of them are super in-depth, not all of them are super long, but quite a few of them, most of them end up being around a hundred or sorry, a thousand words or longer a piece. And I had a few reviews that met that criteria. I wrote about 4,000 reviews for a few book uh, for a few books this month. I did about 1,000 words for The Long Walk by Stephen, ba Stephen King slash Richard Bachman. I did about 1,000 words for The Terminal Man by Michael Crichton. I did about 12 or 1,300 words for Light of the Jedi by Charles Sewell. Uh, Sewell, I think that's how his last name is pronounced. That book is the first book in the High Republic series of Star Wars. Uh, I'm actually really proud of that review. I'm pretty proud of all three of those reviews, all things considered. Not as much as some of my earlier reviews, but I liked all three of those quite a bit. And then I had a shorter review on a novella that I read over the course of the month, if I'm not mistaken, filling up the rest of those 4,000 words. So that is how the writing went. In fact, you know, totaling all those things together, you get over 10,000 words written over the course of the month just for, you know, channel slash channel adjacent projects. I'm pretty proud of that turnout, all things considered. But let's move on to the channel statistics, where I talk about the statistics of my two channels over the last couple months, starting with the main channel. I have 1,160 views in June, which was down 25% from July, or sorry, from May. That's how the months work. Uh, but April and May were huge months. Uh, June was also another pretty big month. The fact that I had three months in a row, I'll go over 1,000 views apiece is no small thing to me. I'm really appreciative of that. 105.1 watch hours on the main channel, down 43.7%. It was a little bit of a uh, smaller downturn, but again, three months in a row, I believe, maybe even four. I'm not 100% sure on that, but at least three months in a row where I had over 100 watch hours over the course of the month. That is also no small thing to me either. Thank you everyone who has watched any of the videos that I've released this month and at any point on the channel. 73,543 impressions, which is up 0.02% from last month because last month I had 73,420 something impressions. So it was basically identical, uh, which was a little surprising. But to be fair, I think like 30 something thousand of those impressions are literally only for the Goodbye Airy review. So uh, yeah, that was... That, that was something that happened. But then I also had a net gain of 13 subscribers over the course of June. I don't think I lost any over the course of the month, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty cool. Leaving my total at 644, meaning that I have, uh, if the trend of, I think every month of 2024 so far, I've gotten more than six subscribers you know, as a net gain over the course of a month, which means that in July, I have a very high likelihood of passing 650 subscribers, which is really, really cool. Thank you for everyone who has decided to check out the channel and subscribe. I really appreciate all of you, and I hope I'm able to make your stay worth it. As for the second channel, again, a really small month because I haven't really posting... A been posting anything over there. 10 views in June, down 44.4%. Only 4.4 watch hours, down 21.4%. Uh, and then 247 impressions, down 24%. So again, smaller than last month, which was itself smaller than two months ago. But like I said, I haven't posted any new original content that wasn't just continuing like the Remnant from the Ashes Let's Play, for example, uh, in a couple of months. So uh, that is going to affect the trajectory of that channel a little bit. And of course, I didn't gain any subs, as you might expect from all that. But I'm thinking that with a couple of these new videos, these uh, discography rankings that I've done, and then starting a new Let's Play here probably in August, that maybe I'll get a little bit more traction going on the second channel again in the near future. Here is hoping, fingers crossed. But this month, I have some pretty big plans. I've got a few big projects due 
this month. I have some pretty big reading plans, which you would have seen in yesterday's video, doing my monthly TBR and uh, wrap-up video, reading wrap-up video. Uh, I have a pretty ambitious July TBR, and that's a little scary, but that's just how things go sometimes. I always manage to do this to myself. It's my own fault. One of those reading projects is also a copy edit job that I have going on at the moment, so that's something that I have to get done this month that I need to focus on. Uh, this weekend, even though it is the holiday weekend, I don't technically have to do that because it's not going to be out for a little while, but I like to get things done ahead of time in case things change and in case things have to get pushed back a little bit as well. I am planning uh, to finish this first trilogy set of outlines this month as well. Like I said, I want to get through part five of this Halfway Hollow outline, and that will leave me ready to begin plotting and putting together the next seven outlines because those I'll have to do basically simultaneously because of the way that they converge in some very special ways. Um, I'm excited to actually get back to writing new outlines, whereas I think I've spent basically the entire last year at this point just editing this trilogy's outlines, and that's been a really long and slow process, tedious. Uh, so I think I know a little bit better how to do that process moving forward. We'll hope that that's the case, but I think this time I'm going to get more of the outlines done all in one big jump because, like I said, they're going to be converging. I need to get that stuff done, so I'm looking forward to trying to get that done as I want it to be done, and therefore, you know, leaving the rest of the year basically just for writing outlines. Let's hope that that ends up being the case. I'm going to work on improving thumbnails with this new position. I think I got the last couple of videos, so like this, this yesterday's video the reading wrap up and tbr that i mentioned i think that thumbnail is a lot better than the previous fortnite on the aisle thumbnail which was also from this new camera position say hello to the brand new setup by the way even though you're not seeing it in this video if you watch yesterday's video you see the whole setup so you know i'm just rambling at this point but I'm gonna work on making sure that i have the thumbnail situation figured out in this setup because i actually really liked the way things were before um and it's a little bit different now of course, that's what happens when you change things up, and I'm looking forward to getting in the background over there where you see a little bit of the blue wall here. Uh, that will be a poster of Valka, uh, the cover from Ashes of Man, the US version right there on the shelf. Uh, that's going to be going up on the wall. I'm going to be getting that back from the framers probably this week. I might have to pick that up next week. So basically, all of the new videos that I record from this position are going to have the poster in it theoretically that's a lie there's going to be one more video this week and then one video next week that probably don't have the poster wow i just lie like i breathe apparently that's news to me but yeah that is basically what is going on this month thank you for tuning into this video a much longer state of affairs than normal i appreciate it if you happened to get through the whole thing uh it really does mean a lot to me with that being said i'm gonna get out of your face now i've been rambling a little bit more than i think i've needed to for this video even though much of it went a little bit more smoothly than i think is normal but like i said thank you for checking out this video i'll be back tomorrow at this point with another infinite just reading diary if you've been following along with those otherwise this sunday will be another fortnight on the aisle so a little bit more specific plans and updates as far as videos and stuff are concerned for the next couple weeks so i hope you check that out if you're interested a little bit more in the goings on of the channel thank you again for watching i'll be back in the next video